Hey guys, welcome back to Robo. Hope you guys are doing well and staying safe. And today, this is a project video. This is a tutorial sort of a video, and we're going to show you how to make a project based on Arduino, uh, basically Arduino Nano. And if you're in a second year or something like that in your engineering, this is a great project for you to just do and practice and get into the world of embedded systems basically. So what this project is basically is that it's a gesture controlled elevator module. So what it does is you just wave your hand over a sensor and the elevator will move up or down. We're not connecting it to an elevator. Basically you're connecting it to an OLED display and we'll see like how the gesture works and how the floor goes up, down, everything like that. And yeah, it's just a fun project and let's get started. So basically because of the pandemic everything has become very contactless like don't touch this and just everything is gesture controlled sort of right now. So this is something like that as well. So this is a project which will help you like use gesture controls to move an elevator up, down, open doors, everything like that. It's not like we're connecting this to an actual elevator. This is just we're connecting it to an OLED display and we'll see the numbers go up, down and everything like that when you just wave your hand above the sensor. So the way this thing works is that we have three modules and that's it. That's all we have. That's the first one is the basically the brain of the device and that is the Arduino Nano. And the second thing is an APDS9960 gesture sensor. It's a gesture sensor. It works very well. And the third thing is an OLED display. Uh, the links to buy all these things will be down in the description. You can check them out, buy them and perform this project at your home. So basically what this is, is again a gesture controlled thing. Uh, which will move the numbers up and down. It's something really nice and if you're in your early years of engineering, like if you're in your first, second, third year or something like that, this is a great project to just get into the embedded systems world. So without further ado, let's get started with what components you need, the, how the code works, what libraries you need to download and everything like that. So let's get started with what components you need. The first thing that you need is an Arduino Nano. Uh, we're doing it in an Arduino Nano because it's like cost effective and everything like that. And if you're a student, cost is something that you have to keep in mind. So Arduino Nano and basically this is the brain of your entire project. This is what you'll be connecting to your computer and uploading the code into. This is where the components will be connected and will be working accordingly. The second thing you need is an OLED display, a standard OLED display just to display all the numbers going up and down and everything like that. And the third thing you need is an APDS9960 gesture control sensor. So this is a gesture control sensor. So what you'll be doing is waving your hand above it and you will get the signal and understand where you're moving your hand and send electronic signals and see if you're going up or down, anything like that. So APDS9960 gesture sensor. And the fourth thing you need is a breadboard and a few jumper cables. Again, everything you need for this project is down below. Check the description now. The code, the code is also provided down below. You can check it out. And you have to download two libraries. One is the APDS9960 library from Arduino itself. And the second is the Adafruit SH1106 library. The libraries that you need to download, the names of them are also provided in the description. If you want the Arduino ID download link, that is also provided. Everything is provided in the description. Check them out. The circuit diagram for all these things are over here. Pause the video, check it out, connect all the components according to this circuit diagram. And the code is also provided down in the description. Check the description out. So the code basically has four or five parts. The first thing is you have to initialize all your libraries and everything like that. And the second thing is the floor number and what floor you're on and what floor you want to go to like that. And the third thing is where you set all the hex values for your OLED display. Uh, the hex values for the up arrow, down arrow, side arrows, everything like that. All the hex values are set over there. And after that, you initialize your gesture sensor and then you just send that data out to the OLED display and that's how the code is set. That's how the whole code is going to work and you have to upload the code into the Arduino Nano and it will work seamlessly. And that was it. That was just a basic, basic project to just get into the embedded systems world, understand how this works and the basic project for your hobby or just as a project for your basically engineering if you're in your second year or something like that. Very basic project. You can just make it, have fun. So yeah, if you like this video, if you found this helpful, leave it a like, share it with your friends and check the description down below. Everything that you watched in this video will be provided in the description. Check it out. Make this project for yourself. And subscribe if you already haven't. We're coming up with a lot more intermediate level, advanced level projects as well. So if you want those, subscribe, it'll help us a lot. And yeah, comment down below what other projects would you want to see from us. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.